Hello, this is Joe Pryor at the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, a part of Redbud Realty and Associates. We're getting here at the uh, end of January 2013. 2012 was an exceptional year for the Oklahoma City market. And, uh, you know, you go into the new year and you go, well, what's going to happen now? What do, we, what do we think about the next few months? But this is what I am seeing uh, in our market. First of all, our inventory continues to shrink. That certainly is an important market condition because that really does determine a lot about pricing. But now when I say pricing, it's not like that we're experiencing kind of a little bit of a mini bubble here. It just means that it's the normal law of supply and demand. Uh, the other thing is in foreclosures and short sales. Uh, we're seeing incredible activity in foreclosures and short sales uh, in terms of buyers wanting to buy them. I'll give you an example. Last Sunday, and uh, that I listed a, a short sale in the Edmond, Oklahoma market. It was priced very, very well, needed quite a bit of work. Matter of fact, uh, wasn't eligible for FHA or VA. In a, period, in a period of three days, I had 40 showings, about 40 showings on that property, uh, multiple contracts. Uh, it went under contract because when you have a low inventory and something comes on and it looks like it's priced right, and it is, and it's below market value, then what has people are just going after it because well it's in short supply uh, the Edmund market continues to flourish uh, in every possible way the Oklahoma City market uh, numbers just keep coming up all over the city so what we have is a very very strong market going into 2013 now where I do believe that there is opportunity uh, for people to buy is in an area that you normally wouldn't associate getting a deal on uh, and that is in new construction. The advantage right now of going after new construction is that builders are really under the gun probably as much as anybody in this industry in terms of moving their inventory. And so they cannot afford to hold on to things. Builders are giving some really excellent incentives right now. They're paying for closing costs. They're adding extras. They're doing a lot of things for you not necessarily discounting the price because you don't want them to do that. You want to protect the comparables in that neighborhood, especially if you buy. But the packages that they are giving right now are rather exceptional. Now, where again, and this affects me very, very personally because investment real estate is uh, my main specialty, is we're seeing a tremendous amount of activity coming in investment property in the Oklahoma City market. We've always been a good steady market for that. We've always had uh, a low percentage of vacancy. Our prices are good, our insurance is good, our property taxes are uh, half of what, if not less than that, and less than half of what Texas is. And so we're doing a lot of positive cash flow. Uh, we do have people that do buy uh, new homes for investment, people buy existing homes, we have people that buy basket cases and have crews going in there, but it is a tremendous market for a long-term hold. Now it's not fix and flip, I don't involve myself in that. But there are enough good deals out there if you have the ability to pay cash or have a bank that works with you and be able to do the repairs you're finding some tremendous deals out there so here we are january of 2013 nothing has gone down from last year in fact it is going up opportunities are out there for you you need to seize that moment though when those do come up and if you're looking for new construction let me help you on that because builders are really negotiating right now because they want to move that inventory. This is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed.